Hello, this is Myron Mixon. Thank you for taking the time to watch the following product video. Backyard, competition, or commercial. We have a full range of smokers. And guess what? Every one we make is made right here in the U.S. of A. And remember this, mastering the pit, it starts today. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce you to the newest addition to the Myron Mixon Smoker family, our Spitfire Grill. Today, we're gonna to cover a few things about what you need to do when you purchase your very own Spitfire Grill. We're gonna cover how to season the grill to get it ready for your first barbecue. We're gonna talk about how to light that fire. That's a big element, it's a big thing to understand. Also, we're gonna talk about the operational features of this cooker. There's a lot of them, but they're very simple to use. First off, we're going to talk about how we're going to season our smoker. A lot of people get caught up in, you got to light it off, let it cook for two or three days, getting all those grids and grates seasoned up, ready for your meat. First thing you want to do when you get ready to season your Spitfire grill, you want to go in, pull your racks out. These right here are nickel chrome racks. They won't stick, they'll hold any weight of any meat you want to put on. Take your cooking spray, spray it on all the racks, give it a good coat. Also inside the walls, right inside the lid, the side walls, the back wall, give it a good coat. Slide the racks back in, start up both trays, charcoal trays here with a full basket of charcoal. Let the lid down, and let that charcoal heat up and burn down by itself and go totally out. When that gets concluded, your Spitfire grill will be seasoned and ready for your first barbecue. So the number one way that we recommend in Myron Mix and Smokers is to start your grill is with a chimney starter. Charcoal, paper beneath, and once we get them white, we reach in, Slide your trays back. You can dump your coals in just like that, just that easy. By doing it that way, you don't have to worry about flames jumping when you're starting your coals off, lapping over and hitting your paint, or lapping up, messing up anything on the inside cook chamber. I wouldn't recommend putting the charcoal inside the trays here and starting it with a torch here. You never want the fires lapping up or possibly burning the inside of your unit, or even worse, lapping around to the outside. Same thing with lighter fluid. We do not recommend using lighter fluid to start the charcoal inside of the Spitfire grill. One of the best features of the Spitfire grill is that it has almost 1,700 square inches of cooking surface. You can cook a lot of meat on here. Along with the dual adjustable charcoal trays, it makes the Spitfire grill unique and better than any other grill on the market. We have some very unique operational features on the Spitfire grill. One of them is we have dampers not only at the top of the lid right here, but we also have them down below where the charcoal itself is actually leveled off at the fire basket. We got top and bottom racks. Top rack can come fully out. If you were doing a larger piece of meat, maybe you're using a large ham, a large shoulder, really tall, you can take that top rack out, handle it very easily. Also, the bottom racks, they slide all the way out. Matter of fact, you could take them all the way out, but you can leave them propped back just like this. Talking about the rack, our charcoal basket right here. Cool thing about that, it's adjustable. A lot of times when we're grilling burgers, you're grilling hot dogs, you start with it about all the way down. But as your coals burn out, maybe you're looking at hamburgers and hot dogs, 20 minute cook. And maybe you're doing multiples. Maybe you're filling it all the way up and you're feeding the ball team. So, 
you don't want to have to refire. You want to get as many cooks out of one basket of charcoal. So as the embers start burning away, making ash, you start bringing the coals up to the meat closer and closer. That's making the heat pick up hotter and hotter right beneath the meat. So you don't have to buy as much charcoal to generate the heat you need to get your burgers and dogs ready. Now, we're sitting here. We don't want to do burgers and dogs. We want to do that shoulder we talked about. We want to do that brisket we talked about. Well, your Spitfire grill, you can turn it into a smoker. You go in, you take your big piece of meat, like your brisket, like your ham, like your pork shoulder. We'll put it over here on this side right here. We're going to come on this side to put our charcoal. We're going to take the basket all the way down. We're going to make an indirect cooking unit out of it now for smoking. Put a few of our wood chunks there. What we're going to do now, we're going to drag that heat up and around. We're going to let our lid down. I want you to shut the dampers off on this side over here. Leave the dampers open on this side. What that's going to do is drag the heat and the smoke to vent out this side and surround your large piece of meat right here, which will be your shoulder or your brisket. Another feature we got is easy clean out for our ash coming from our charcoal pan. Right here we have the box, or our ash box that catches all the remnants of our charcoal. All we have to do, box in place, pull the damper open, ash goes right in there for easy disposal. Makes it very easy to clean up. You don't have to go up on top of your grill, wait until everything cools off, sweeping it all up getting half of it, leaving the rest. Another feature right between our two clean out boxes right here, we have a storage drawer. Also, we have this cool stainless steel shelf. Pops down, pops up. You set your fork, your tongs, your spritz you're using, meat thermometer, all right here for easy use when you're checking your meat.